there's a, there's a few things about Jersey Boys that are fascinating. First of all, I mean, it's just so widely applicable to such a huge audience. And that's a rare thing today in entertainment where, where things tend to be so divisive and kids like this and adults like this and you have oldies and you know, and so yet you have something like Jersey Boys that appeals to such a huge range of people. My own family, for instance, would be like, you know, my nine-year-old niece, my 41-year-old sister, my 60-some-year-old mother, my 80-some-year-old grandmother all could come to the show and enjoy it at the same time and all in their own different way. Um, my mother, of course, might have listened to the Four Seasons or the Beach Boys or the Beatles or, you know, those similar sounds. Um, but my sister would have listened to Michael Jackson, Billy Joel, and my niece would have listened, you know, would be listening to Maroon 5 and Bruno Mars and those kinds of singers now. And my grandmother would have certainly listened to Frankie, maybe, but also Little Richard before him, and blue singers before that, and Enrico Caruso before that. And so everyone hears Frankie in their own particular way um, and relates to him and that sound to someone that they listen to, you know, in their own lives and that they you know the prime of their own lives.